The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 5. In the same way, younger people, be subject to your elders. Humility toward one another must be the garment that you wear constantly. Because God opposes the proud, but accords his favor to the humble. Bow down then before the power of God now, so that he may raise you up in due time. Unload all your burdens onto him, since he is concerned about you. Keep sober and alert, because your enemy, the devil, is on the prowl like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand up to him, strong in faith, and in the knowledge that it is the same kind of suffering that the community of your brothers throughout the whole world is undergoing. You will have to suffer only for a little while. The God of all grace, who called you to eternal glory in Christ, will restore you. He will confirm, strengthen, and support you. And His power lasts forever and ever. Amen. I write these few words to you through Silvanus, who is a trustworthy brother, to encourage you and attest that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. Your sister in Babylon, who is with you among the chosen, sends you greetings. So does my son, Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to you all who are in Christ. And our response is taken from Psalm 89. For you, Lord, have said, love is built to last forever. You have fixed your constancy firm in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one, sworn an oath to my servant David. Who in the skies can compare with Yahweh? Who among the sons of God can rival him? God, awesome in the assembly of the holy ones, great and dreaded among all who surround him. In your name they rejoice all day long. By your saving justice they are raised up. You are the flower of their strength. By your favor, our strength is triumphant. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark. And he said to them, Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. And there, at the right hand of God, he took his place. While they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord.